What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here, back again with another awesome Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about warp pipes within the game. We're going to give you guys 13 different things that we're going to focus on just so that you guys understand the science and mechanics of the brand new Mario themed warp pipes within Animal Crossing. Thanks so much for watching, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for subscribing by the way, 877 is huge, we're on the road to 1 million one step at a time. Thanks so much for doing that. Now, if you didn't already take a look at the main channel page, right over here, we've got tons of videos for you in our tips and tricks tutorial playlist. We showcase all the brand new Sanrio items, but the video that I do want to give you guys a heads up on was the warp pipe science video, where we went through in about two hours and we tested out everyone's fan theories of what can and cannot work. And this entire video is dedicated to giving you guys the science in a nice, quick, and easy video. So let's jump into it. Okay, number one on our list is going to give you guys the basics of what exactly the warp pipes are, right? So in the history of Mario, if you jump inside of a warp pipe, you come out of the other end. It could be anywhere in the universe of Mario. It's going to be the exact same thing in Animal Crossing 2. So as long as you have two warp pipes, if you walk up to them, you press the A button, you're going to jump on into it and come out the other side of another random warp pipe. Pretty easy, right? Very self-explanatory. Now, the concept of once you have more than two warp pipes, the end result of where you end up in is going to be 100% random. So even though I just came out of this one, that does not necessarily mean that I'm gonna go out of the other one that was right over there. So keep in mind that you don't necessarily have any choice as to where you're going to warp out of. It can be literally any one of the warp pipes. Number two on our list is going to be teaching you guys exactly how to get the warp pipes within Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, if you guys are not updated, definitely update your game. Uh, we're on version 1.8 right over here. By clicking on the home menu, then clicking on plus, you'll be able to update your game via the internet, just like that. Make sure that you're on 1.8, and then make sure that your date on your Nintendo Switch is on March 1st. Now, regions, of course, are going to be different, so whenever it's naturally March 1st in your area, you can absolutely do that. Now, once it's on March 1st, head on over to Nook Shopping. You can access that in Resident Services, or if you've purchased 100 different items and have the app on your phone, you can do it that way. Head on over to Special Goods, uh, press the R button a couple times to go over to the promotional tab and you'll be able to see every single one of the Mario items within the game available for purchase, right? They're all here. You guys can get them. I made a video showcasing every single one of these guys. It's awesome. Now, here we go. All you have to do is go over to the pipe, click on the A button and then order it or send it as a gift to whoever you want to. Now, you'll have to wait another day in order for this order to arrive in the mail and you have a maximum of five every single day within the game. So, of course, if you're a traditional player, then that's literally what you're stuck with. If you're on a more customized approach, then you can jump into the game, change your date, roll over to the next day and then check your mail. Super simple. Now, as of right now, we don't exactly know how long this promotion is. So what I would suggest is going through and spending every single one of your five available orders on buying one of each of these because what you can do during your uh, entire catalog is you can go over to any one of these and you can rebuy them at any given time. So what you want to do is have at least one of every single one of these in your catalog for future reference. Number three on our list of things that you need to know about warp pipes is the fact that they are definitely not customizable within the game. No, you cannot make a blue warp pipe. You can't make a red one. You can't make a yellow one. You can't make a clear one. You can't make a gold one. You can't do any of that stuff. Number four on our list of things to know about warp pipes is where's the limit of warp pipes on an island, right? As you can see over here, I've got about 30 to 40 of them just kind of all strewn about. There's honestly no limit. As long as there's space on an island to put a warp pipe next to each other, you can absolutely do so. So there's an infinite amount of possibilities. If you have an entire island that is nothing but flat ground, you can fill up every single space with warp pipes if you really want to. There's absolutely zero limit to them. Number five on our list is talking about load times. Of course, as you guys know, going through these pipes, there is a little bit of a load screen. So I'm gonna give you guys two instances of warping within the game. There's really only two of them. You can warp from the inside of your house, which you can see right over here, and warp to somewhere else outside of the town. Now that is going to be a little bit longer of load time than if you're just warping from outside to outside. So 
This one's going to be great. So here we go, jumping into the pipe. You guys can see over here that it is going to be a little bit longer because it has to load all the assets of everything that's happening on the outside. It's approximately 12 seconds from when you are able to control your person again. Now, if you jump right back in and press the A button, it's going to be about half that amount of time, approximately six seconds, and you're absolutely done. So warping across the island is going to be fast and very effective. Number six on our list is talking about going to other people's islands. Now, yes, it's one of your biggest things that a lot of people have been asking. Can you warp to another player's island? Ha! <laughs> oh my gosh, of course not. Man, that would be so, so cool. But these warp pipes are so basic that there's literally no way that the programming can allow that to happen, right? How do you do that? You have to have two Nintendo Switches on at the exact same time. It's just, it's not a possibility. So even if you have one warp pipe, you could jump into it. You're just going to spawn out exactly where you got it. So it's unfortunate, but that's exactly how the game works. On that same note of online multiplayer, some of you guys are curious of whether or not online visitors can jump into your pipes and warp around. The answer is yes, you absolutely can. So what we did during our science live stream was I invited a whole bunch of people into the island and I said whoever was the first one to warp in and out of these different warp pipes and land inside of my house won a million bells. And it was really crazy just to try out and see exactly how long it would take for someone to jump into these pipes and try to land in a specific one, considering the fact that every time that you jump out of one of these, it's going to be completely randomized. All right, number eight goes out to all of you guys that don't really like the neon green aesthetic of the warp pipe. I get it, right? You don't want to mess up your fairy core island, or you don't want to mess up your downtown, super modern looking island. I get it it sticks out like a sore thumb. But the cool thing about that is that you're able to bury a warp pipe with some terraforming around it on the second layer and you can enter it from a cliff, believe it or not. So if you have your camera like this, uh, where you can't really see that there's a warp pipe in there and you're not necessarily going to ruin so much of your aesthetic, which I absolutely love. So yeah, you can see over here, you can press the A button, jump in from a cliff and come out the other side. Now that, is awesome. It's time for a little bit of fun. If you guys didn't know, if you shake a tree, there's a chance that wasps will come out of it. Now, when you shake a tree and you're looking to run away, all you have to do is jump into a warp pipe and you will absolutely escape without getting stung. It's absolutely really cute. And I think it's just something fun to add in there. So speaking of fun, another fun thing that you can do is if you decide to bury pitfall seeds or dig holes around one singular pipe and you jump into it and warp, you're going to be in for a little surprise as to what happens when you jump out of a pipe. As you can see over here, you're legitimately going to fall inside the hole just like you would a regular pitfall. You'd have to like move the controller in order to get out of it. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, there's no controlling where exactly which way you're going to be facing when you jump out of a pipe. It's pretty random. I could be holding the uh, right stick and then it goes diagonal, which is not where I want it to go. But still, I thought it was pretty funny and I wanted to add that in there. So number 11 on our list is wondering whether or not you can jump all the way to the fourth layer of your entire island. So a little bit of context is that you are unable to climb up any higher than the third layer because it's too dangerous to climb any higher. But if you put a warp pipe over there, ideally you should be able to jump out and land on top. Interesting theory, right? So I've got my warp pipe over here on the second layer, as you can see, or actually this is the one, two, this is the third layer. Yeah, so we're right over here on the third layer. Essentially, when you jump in, we should pop out the other side, considering the fact that there are two pipes on screen. I'll show you guys what happens. Drum roll, please. And the game does not recognize that as being a valid landing point. So therefore, you jump out of the same pipe. Womp womp. So dreams of getting to a fourth layer are going to be on hold for now, unfortunately. I know a lot of you guys are curious about gifting warp pipes to villagers, and the answer is going to be yes and no. Yes, you can give them a warp pipe, and yes, they'll actually show the warp pipe within their house, but you're unable to actually warp into it. So if they're out walking around and it says, hey, come back later, you can't warp inside their house. Anyway, shoutouts to one of our Animal Crossing Avengers, Joanna, for definitely taking a look and testing this out for science. 
And as you can see, the findings are pretty interesting. So a little bit of context, we do have the warp pipe on the outside of the house, which shows that there are at least two warp pipes on the island. So this is going to be Raymond's house and no, you can't be warping into Raymond's house, but you'll notice that Raymond indeed has a warp pipe over here that was gifted to him. Now that's our second warp pipe. The moment that you press the A button and jump inside it, the game is going to check whether or not you can warp outside of the house and the answer is no, you cannot do so. So it's going to be the exact same thing if you were going on the outside to warp on the inside. It just doesn't work that way. All right, number 13 on our list is giving you guys a couple best practices. Now, I definitely recommend using very, very small amounts of warp pipes on your island unless you're hosting some sort of weird giveaway game. Now, one of the things that I would recommend is pretty much a two pipe system where you have one pipe next to the Dodo Airport because we're still not able to access our Nook phone and then open our gates from there. So depending on where your house is, according to the entire map mine's on the complete opposite side of where the dodo airport is so walking all the way across there can take a good minute so in order to save that minute what i like to do is i like to put a warp pipe right over here on the beach and i'll be able to jump all the way back to my house now i do like to leave it on the outside of the house just so that i can save a couple seconds on warping but you guys can absolutely do the opposite we're putting it on the inside of your house so you have access to your storage can totally work out so that's going to be number one that i would recommend number two is going to be i would say if you're not interested in playing online with people or opening up your gates I would definitely say keeping the warp pipe in your pocket while you're going around your entire island would be a great way of playing it. Simply because if you're working on a building project and you're looking to get more wood or your pockets are full and you need to pretty much go all the way back home without worrying about it, um, all you really have to do is take one of these pipes or whatever's in your inventory, place it down wherever you're at, jump inside the pipe, and then you can instantly warp home to get rid of all the items that are in your pocket or refill up on building supplies that you're using in order to continue on with whatever terraforming or building that you're doing. So it's a great way of just having it in your pocket. Ooh, except for when that happens. Ooh. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, all of the information that you guys want to know and need to know about warp pipes within the game. Let me know what you guys are going to do specifically with warp pipes on your island. Are you gonna use them for fast travel? Are you gonna use them for decoration? Are you just not gonna use them because they don't match your aesthetic? I wanna hear from you guys. Let's keep the discussion going in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thanks for turning on notifications so that you guys are updated on the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content on YouTube. We've got tons more tips and tricks tutorial videos in the works. So I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and join us on our quest for 1 million subscribers. If you have a Facebook group or someone else that you really like playing Animal Crossing with, I would really appreciate it if you would click on that share button and share it with them because this is a lot of good information that we spent a lot of time researching so that you guys have it straight from the source. Have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to read all your comments. We'll see you later. Take care.